Hey everyone, this is Rob Geringer, AKA Freaky Rob. I'm here at my studio in Los Angeles, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Strymon Deco V2. So a little quick background info on me. I am a professional guitarist and bassist, primarily guitarist. I've played for artists such as Rihanna, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Lil Wayne, and tons more of your favorite artists. Today we're gonna to look at this Strymon Deco V2, and I'm gonna show you how I use it live, but also in the studio. I like the Strymon Deco V2 because it's one of those pedals that I can kind of get a two for the dollar type usage out of. It has the saturation side of it, but it also has the double track inside, which I can manipulate to be either some slap back delay or flanger or chorusy type sound. But all in all, I get two sounds in one pedal pretty much. It gives me a tape saturator, but also I can do double tracking, which for me personally, I like to create to make like this sort of distortion slash slapback delay sound and it's very, very huge. The tape saturation drive is different than any of my other drives because for one, with this pedal, you can pick whether you want it to act as a classic saturation or they have a cassette saturation. And for me, the cassette saturation is pretty much just like those are iconic overdrive tones from like all the records I love in like the 50s and the 60s. And I can pretty much replicate that right here at my fingertips with the Deco. So now I'm gonna demo the Deco. First, I'll use that saturation sound that I described earlier. And then I'm gonna kick in some slapback delay. And then I'm gonna add them both together and let you hear what that sounds like. Currently right now on the tape saturation, I have the saturation maxed out. I have the voice set on the cassette option. I have the volume right under 12 o'clock. And then I have my tone right above 12 o'clock. And also I'm playing my Fender American Vintage 2 1961 reissue Strat. And I have that in the bridge position as well with my volume and tone controls maxed out. And we're gonna be running all this into the front end of my Marshall JVM4. <laughs> So now I'm going to do just the double tracking so you can hear what that effect is like. And now I'll show you guys what they sound like both on together. So from what we just heard, that slapback slash saturation sound, that is one of my favorite sounds of all time. And I really get that from studying a lot of that music from the 50s and the 60s. And the Deco is pretty much, for me, everything those guys would have to use back in the day, I have it right at my fingertips in this pedal. And they hit it more so on the modern side of things too, as far as like, even with the warble, if you pay very, very close attention, you can hear in the last demo that I did how the notes, the longer notes, they will get that, that little warble slash wobble in between where as some pedals, you don't even have that effect there as a possibility. And like even right now, if I play just a straight chord, this is just a straight clean chord. If I turn on my double tracker, I currently have some blend. I have my blend at 12 o'clock. I have my wobble at probably 
6 or 7 o'clock, and then I have my volume right past 12. But listen to this. It just has a very, very retro feel to it that I really like. But then also, it keeps the characteristics like the old machines, delays, and everything else that I would like to use. For instance, listen to how the lag time transfers. So as you can see in here, the, the pedal has those very funky slash SpongeBob tones and qualities that you can pull from it that typically they're hard to manipulate. And some of that vocal funkiness that you're hearing as far as the chords is coming from the type of double tracking that you can do. There's three types on, on here. You have a sum, you have the invert, and you have the bounce type as well. Me personally, I love to use it in the bounce form, meaning it's kind of got like a, it, it can have like a pong effect, but it's all still coming from just the double tracking side. So I'm going to turn that on now and play it. So that's my favorite setting in bounce mode. Now I'm going to put the pedal in the invert mode. And now I'm going to show the pedal in the last mode, which is sum. The big difference between them is I feel like as you go up, meaning as you go down from the bounce mode and then there's invert and then there's some above that, I feel like you gain a little bit more trouble on each option. So when you end up in the sum selection, that's the cleanest one to me. If you notice, like the sum portion of it is the one where I can't really hear the wobble in the the, some of the lo-fi functioning as much, which is why I think I like the bounce version because the bounce version to me is like everything max out. You can hear it all, you know? So earlier, if you remember, I mentioned the saturation mode. It has two different options with it. Now you can select its voicing to be classic or you can select it to be in the cassette option. Me personally, I use it in cassette, but they both sound great. Let's take a listen to it in classic mode. Now I'm going to show you the pedal in cassette mode. So the big difference for me between the classic and the cassette mode is the classic has a little bit more silkier, creamier distortion, 
where the cassette is a little bit warmer, but it's also a little bit more aggressive. So it's for me, it's a little bit more punchier. And I think that's why I like the cassette over the classic. But they're both very, very great options to have. And I use them both in different applications. So if you want to add some old 50s, 60s flair in your rig, especially as far as saturation and delays, you should definitely check out the Strymon Deco V2. To learn more, head over to guitarcenter.com, reach out to one of their expert gear advisors, or head into your local GC. Thank you.